What's up guys, this is Frenzy, and this is Incognita, uh, a game created by Clay Entertainment. It's in development right now. This is actually the first alpha build that's been released to the public, so there's a few bugs still in it, and there's, you know, it's a little rough around the edges in certain parts, but it plays pretty well. So we'll jump into a game here. Um, Clay Entertainment, the same guys who created Don't Starve, so they have a certain level of polish that I really like in their games, and replayability. I had a lot of fun with Don't Starve. Um, so we jump right in, and you guys will notice, like, the Fog of War is pretty key here. It's all about intelligence. This is kind of an espionage, spy, tactical type shooter game. Um, and a lot of what you need to do is to be able to explore a level, which every single level is uh, generated each time you play it. There's a bug currently where if you try to continue with like a certain squad, it replays the level over and over again. But basically how it's supposed to play is after you exit a level, if you zoom out, you can find the exit. This is where I have to get to. You'll see these are all exit squares, so this is where I have to get to. Um, but there's certain other objectives that you have to do throughout the the map as well to kind of help you in your next map. And basically it's supposed to get harder and harder and harder the farther you go. Um, so we'll kind of just jump into it here. Now you'll notice I kind of come up here and I can't quite see much even though I'm standing right next to the wall. There's actually a peek ability and I can peek around the wall and then I get a nice big block of vision re revealed to me. So I'm going to be doing that just to start off with. And what I can do here is this guy's an engineer, so he interacts with most of the electronics in the game um, the best. I guess everybody can interact with electronics, but the engineer is the best at it. He has an ability where I can basically detect um, any electronics around me. So I'm going to do that right at the start. And you notice that revealed a CPU, a laser emitter, and a credit safe. So, And also another CPU over here. So I really need to get to these CPUs the, for the most part. Um, I can actually probably get to one of these CPUs through the wall here. Basically, I'm just going to have this guy go over here and try to reveal a little bit more of the map. Okay, well, that didn't give me hardly anything. I'm a little scared of turning this corner because I feel like there could be a guard there. Um, I think I'm going to leave this guy here for this turn because this guy can actually interact with certain things that he knows about um, from a certain distance. Okay, so one thing I want to explain here is the, the three bars here and what they mean. Because you guys might say, well, why can't you interact with this right now? Alright, so the first bar is your movement and basic actions. There are certain basic action, actions that don't take an action point. This is basically just movement, though. Uh, the second bar is your health. You'll notice these two have different health amounts, and they will have different movement amounts as well, because they're different classes. And then the third thing here is your action point. Basically, that's anything where you interact with a certain piece of machinery mainly. There's other things that take action points. I'm still a little unfamiliar with every aspect of the game. I just kind of have the basics down. Um, so right here I'm going to end my turn. Now you'll notice as a turn goes through, everybody obviously gets to take their actions um, on the on the opposite side. Basically the people that are trying to hunt you, da hunt you down. Um, and the alarm will increase by one every turn that you take. Now the alarm is basically what keeps you moving through a level and not taking too long. Um, basically, how the way the way I think about this game is you're in kind of a building, and they're trying to track down which level you're on and send people in after you. So as this alarm increases, once it gets to 20, there's going to actually be six SWAT units that are going to appear at the entrance and try to track you down inside of the level. They've basically locked you into like what story of the building you're on, and then they will um, they'll hunt you down and try to kill you. And they're pretty strong people. All right, so there's a computer console here. And here, you notice that I can actually interact with this because I know about it because I use this ability. So I can grab that computer console. It gives me one CPU point. Now you guys might wonder what, what CPU points are, and I have this credit safe that I know about. So basically I can start working on taking down this credit safe. I'm going to hold on for just a second to see if I can get this other CPU. Alright, so this is just a, just a room. I wasn't needing to be scared of anything. Alright, i got to get in front of... This console. This guy cannot interact with them at range because it's only the engineer's class that can do that. So I can take out this can console as well. Now I have two CPU points. Now I can go to the mainframe mode. Alright, so this is basically where you, as the kind of the person that's overlooking and controlling the like the agents that you that you have working for you, you can hack in and help them with their ability with their like mission to get through the get through the level. So basically I can come in here. And I'm not sure exactly. This is the laser emitter, and this is another laser emitter, I believe. And then this is this credit safe. So I'm going to go after the credit safe. 
each one of these shields is basically a firewall that you have to kind of work through. So I can use these two CPUs to start working through this firewall for this turn. Alright, and then this guy, he used his action. I'm going to have him come over here. Um, actually, did I take... I can't remember which one I took over. Okay, so I took over this one. Technically, I probably could get this through the wall, but I'm going to head that way anyway, so it won't matter too much. And we'll peek around the corner, see if I can get any extra intel. Looks like it goes up that way. Alright. This guy... Something else that I didn't know that I didn't uh, I didn't mention is sound, so I'll do that um, next turn. I'll show you guys a little bit about sound and how it works. Basically, there's guards throughout the level that are trying to I, they'll they'll engage you if you get too close to them. So let me take a look through this door. You can look through like a peephole, I guess this thing, whatever it is. You'll bend down. There's a guard right there. All right. So basically, if he sees me or if I make too much noise, he'll come and investigate where I am, and he'll engage me. Now, your stealth guy doesn't make any sound whatsoever, unless he's interacting with certain objects, but when he's walking, he doesn't make any sound. Alright, your engineer, however, when I move this guy, look for a blue ring around him as he makes footstep sounds. You see that blue ring? That's actually his sound that he's making when he's walking. So any guard that's within that radius will get alerted. So if, there, if there's a guard on this side of the room, he's probably going to get alerted right here. Alright, so I'm going to peer through. Okay, it's just a it's just a, uh, a hallway here. Now, this is a pass card right here. This is another thing that you use later on in the level. Um, I'll show you about it later on. For right now, I'm just going to pick it up. And I'm going to turn towards the door. And I think this guy still has action points. I think I want to try to take this guard out. I'm not sure if I want to do it yet, though. I think I will. Um, so what I'm going to do... So I'm just going to open this door because... He will take reaction shots if I move too many squares inside of his line of sight. But if I just do it kind of a quick action where I'm just opening the door and then I can shoot him really quick, this stealth guy has a dart gun. It won't kill him, but it'll make him pass out for a couple turns. It'll tell so I'm he's knocked out for three turns. That's what that says right there. Now I'm gonna have to peek inside of here. And there we go. Alright, so this is a security camera. This is another thing that you have to deal with. If the security camera sees you when it's under enemy control, it'll raise the alarm by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take control of this. Like that. Now even if I leave this area and there's fog of war, I'll see whatever happens in here. Um, so I'll see this guy when he gets back up. And then I want to also take over this credit safe so that I'm able to get inside of here. Basically this is items that later on when it gets further developed, You'll be able to buy certain things for your agents and upgrade them in certain ways with either money. There's also ammo that you can find in here, um, certain things like that. And then I'll take control of one of these, even though I don't know exactly what it's for yet. It looks like I can't quite take control of it yet, I guess. Oh, I don't have any more CPU. Duh. All right. So <clears throat> there's nothing else in this room that I need, it looks like. Uh, so that was kind of a waste of ammo on my part. So I'm going to start heading back. Actually, I'm going to close the door first. So he, when he wakes up, he's going to investigate what tried to attack him. He'll probably come to this door and try and like open it and see if there's anybody out there. And if there's not, he'll probably just go back to what he's doing. The guard AI, it's relatively good, but um, there's still mis some mistakes that they make. I mean, they're still a little bit dumb, right? Because it's a very early build. All right, so we'll go on to the next turn. So you'll notice when this goes through, he went down to two. And that's actually... Um, you notice there's some blue squares and it showed me that? That's another person that I heard. That's a guard that I heard walking around down there. The same way that you make footsteps, so do guards. And I'm not sure if there's specific enemies or anything like that, like enemies that make more noise than others. I'm a little concerned with leading with this guy because he does make more noise than the others. Play peek around this corner. Alright, so far so good. So I'm just going to peek inside of this room as well. Alright, so there's another pass guard and then there's two computers and a safe, so I really want to get inside of here next turn. Start taking over those computers so I can do a little bit more magic each turn. You notice that these CPUs also regenerate each turn as well. You get two CPU power because I have two CPUs total under my command. There are certain circumstances where, like, guards will take back over certain things, like take over the security camera and take back over CPUs and stuff like that. I haven't ran into that all that much, though. 
All right, so this guy's gonna hijack this console. All right, so here's like a a certain. There's different missions. Basically, eventually, this is gonna become kind of more of the storyline and campaign. Um, right now, it's just certain things like if I click this, I'll get ammo. If I click this, I'll get credits, which can't currently be used because it's not uh, implemented yet. But basically, in between missions, you'll be able to uh, buy ammo and buy certain things. And then I believe this. I think this regens your movement rate. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to take the ammo, though, because that's mostly mostly useful. So you'll notice, yeah, I ended up getting an ammo clip. There's little things like that in the game already. And I'll get inside of this room. And then let's see if this guy can get inside as well. And I'll close the door just in case anyone's patrolling outside around this, uh, this building here. And then I guess this guy can also loot this. I guess it's going to be credits. Yep, so I, I obtained 200, 200 credits. If uh, the store was kind of in the game, um, that's what you would use in between missions to like restock your, your agents and stuff like that. Um, it's supposed to be a game where you kind of continue playing. You don't just play like one map and then restart the game. It's a continual thing. And basically you can pick up agents by releasing them. Sometimes you have maps where there's agents that are... Um, that are being held, held captive, you can get another agent that way, and if someone dies on your team, they're dead forever. So, it's kind of, uh, it kind of punishes you for mistakes that way. So I'll hijack this other one. I don't think there's anything that I can do, well, I can get both of these actually under my command. Actually, I believe these laser grids are, um, where agents are held. Usually they have agents, uh, laser grids protecting the agents. So that might be somewhere that I should head in a little bit here. Um, let's see if I can get up next to this wall and peek around it. Alright, so this is just going to be safe for the most part. I'll let this guy go the other way. I'm sure there's there's a lot of things to this game, so I'm sure there's a few things that I haven't even gotten to yet. Um, and things that I have gotten to that I haven't mentioned in the video. Hopefully I'll cover almost everything though. I believe I, I already covered Alarm. That goes up once every turn. There's a couple other things that make it uh, go up. Like, if I go into mainframe mode, you'll see this little thing that's giving a blip every once in a while. Every guard has a heart emitter, a heart rate monitor, I guess. Um, currently, I don't know exactly how to turn it off after you kill one, but basically you kill a guard, and then after two turns, they'll realize the guard is dead, and it'll raise your alarm by one. So basically they'll be like, oh, a guard died on this level. Let's, you know, investigate further and stuff like that. If you get caught on a security camera, that raises it by one. Um, there's a couple other things, but, you know, that's definitely, like, one of the more interesting mechanics in the game is this alarm factor. All right, so let's peek through the door. All right, so there is an agent right in here. This is one of my guys that I can, if I rescue him, he'll follow me into the next level. Um, but there's also a guard on the other side of this door. So I'm going to kind of just get set up to go in here soon. And I'll end the turn here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stealth guy, I believe. Getting right in front of the door. Open it up. This guy actually moved. You'll notice he was... Oh no, there's two of them. Alright. So this could be a little bit interesting. I believe this guy has not seen me. That's what that exclamation part exclamation point um, is. He has seen me. This guy's looking away, so I guess uh, he hasn't noticed me yet, but this guy's right in line of sight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dart gun, and I'm going to shoot him, and he's going to fall unconscious. Now, if there's anyone else in this room, they're going to see him and start investigating as well. So I have to be a little bit cautious here. Um, this The engineer has a gun that actually will kill somebody, but it only does one damage, and this guy has four life, so I'm not super... Um, I don't know what I was going to say, but I forgot my thought. Oh, and there's a camera in here as well. So this is getting to be a bad situation very quickly. I actually decided to go in here and there's a camera. I can take control of it now. And I can get both of these, or actually just one of those. Alright, so I see this as well. He has a question mark because he knows something's up. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to actually back out of this door. This isn't a good position to be in. I'm going to try to duck in here and take a shot. See if I can get an angle. There we go. Take a shot at that guy. I actually did two damage. And then I'll come back to this point and I'll close the door. And uh, 
that'll make them at least have to open the door. It might, you know, waste all their action points. I also have control of this camera, so even though I close the door, I can see what's going on inside of this room. And I'll make sure both of my weapons are reaction on. In case they move in front of me a little bit too much, I'll uh, take a reaction shot that way. There's also Overwatch, just like in uh, XCOM. But that takes an action point, so... Alright, so this guy's going to get back up next turn, which isn't good. Actually, I think he just got up. Alright, so... I'm going to open the door again. I'm going to shoot this guy, which should kill him. He's going to see that. They're also going to hear this, both of these guys. Actually, they're, you notice this. This was some guy in this room. He was patrolling up this way, saw that guy on the floor. Now he's coming to investigate his corpse. This guy's going to investigate his corpse. So you can see how this spirals out of control really quickly. I'm going to kind of fall back with this guy. And then see if I can't... Whoops, wrong guy. There we go. See if I can't shoot this one. I can shoot one of these. I don't remember which one, though. Alright, but there we go. We have both of them laying on the floor now. One of them is going to get up next turn, though. So I'll have to... Be aware of that. Um, is there anything that I can do? Take control of this. And I think that's about it. Now you notice my alarm's up to 10, so I do have to be a little bit cautious that I don't take too much time. I basically have to free this guy and get down here and probably over there. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult. As well as when it's level 20, it doesn't. It's not like it's game over. It just gets a lot harder at that point. Because they will start at the entrance. It's like, you know, SWAT agents are entering the building and they're coming to look for you. So they'll enter here and they'll have to take movements to follow you. Alright, so let's end my turn, I guess. I don't have any action points. I can't shoot. I could move, but this is pretty good cover for me right now, so. One of these guys is going to get back up, I believe. And that's his movement, I believe. I, I think. Uh, it might be another guard, though. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, and then it's my turn again. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dart gun. Shoot him down. I'm going into the room now. This guy can take cover behind this desk. And take a shot at this guy. And actually kill him. That's good. Alright, now... This is going to be two more alarm that's going to happen here, because these heart rate monitors are going to go off. I don't know how to turn these off. Um, I saw like a demo gameplay where you were able to turn them off in mainframe mode, but I haven't been able to figure it out. Maybe they just removed it. Now, what I can do with these is I can turn these all off and get to my agent that's here. It'd probably be smart to wait one turn, but I think I should be okay to rescue him now. So rescue agent, there we go. Thanks, I need to stretch my legs. And then I can probably get him in front of this door. Maybe peek inside. There's another security camera that I saw, so I'll take control of that. And that'll give me vision of the whole room. And then we'll just try to get this guy kind of out of line of sight. Um, probably back here would be best. And hope that the agents don't take control of this defense grid and turn it on, because my guy would instantly die. Alright, end turn. So these heart rate monitors are going down. You notice I'm going to take extra alarm this turn. So I took two points of alarm. I guess that's an interesting way of putting it. Took two points of alarm, but yeah. Peek through this door. Doesn't look like there's really anything I need in here. Um, it may be another, another way to go to the exit. But I think I'm gonna really just try to get to the exit because I I don't I don't have that many turn many turns left, so let's see here. Let's get this. This is a long sprint, so I'm a little concerned. I'm alright though. Oh, and if you guys noticed when you move and then you choose which way you're facing. So this arrow is which way he's facing. So I want him to face towards this door. So I'll turn that, and then you see he's turned towards that way. And they automatically take cover behind certain things. And then I have, okay, and then that's it. I guess I could probably have this guy follow as well. Um, this guy's actually getting up next turn. That's a problem. I didn't even think about that. When this guy gets up, he's actually going to be able to take a full action, which is going to be on this guy's flank most likely. So I need to take him down again. 
probably just kill him would be the best option. Yeah, because this guy needs to reload anyway. Alright, there we go. And then this guy can shoot him. And that'll kill him. This guy's a rifle. He's a sharpshooter. I think there's currently three classes in the game. Sharpshooter, Stealth, and Engineer. Alright, so we will go to the next turn. This guy's going to get up next turn as well, or no, two turns. Alright, well first, either way I'm going to close this door behind me. He's going to investigate this dead body most likely first before he comes and follows me, so I should have enough time to get to the exit before then. Take a peek in here, I don't think it's really going to get me any info. That's my stealth guy as well, I kind of want to get as much info as possible with him. He'll peek in both sides, so he gets a real- when you're standing right in front of an entryway, you can peek in both sides, That's that way if there's a camera on these angles, it's a... Uh, a little bit easier for you to deal with without getting caught. Alright, and then this is uh, safe, so I can take that down, break the firewall, and I'll be able to get in there, see what's in there in a second. Alright, next turn. So I have three turns until the uh, SWAT start to come in. I'll probably wait, even if I make it to the exit, I'll wait to show you guys what happens when it gets to alarm 20. This guy's my stealth, right? Yeah, let me take a look in this door. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen those statues yet. It whole thing is randomly generated, so it's really cool. Oh, you guys remember when I picked up that pass, code, pass card? Um, way at the beginning of the level. It's right here. Pass card. This unlocks these doors. The ones with bars over it. You need those to get into these um, doors. I don't think you can hack into them or anything. You have to have those pass cards. They're kind of laying on the ground throughout the level. Alright. I'm going to move this guy outside just in case for some reason there's some guy like in this corner that busts through the door. Alright, next turn. Alright, so it says continue to engage, but it looks like he doesn't know where I went. So he's kind of searching up there for me. There's actually a pass card up here that I missed when I was in here, but that's okay. So I mean, there could have been like more goodies up in this area with like more items and stuff like that. But it's kind of a risk-reward system. Like I could go up here and try to explore it, but I have to realize that the SWAT is coming, right? And I might do it just because. Currently, a lot of the stuff isn't really used, like the credits and all of that. It's mostly just these, like, single missions right now, because there's not all that much progression. Yes, you can keep your guys, up to a total of six people you can have on one mission. But I believe there's a bug where it replays the level over and over. Um, it happened to me earlier. I was having the same level happen to me when I was continuing my game. Alright, who has the pass card? This guy. So I'm gonna get him up close because I'll unlock it next turn. I'll see what's in here. I'll take a look through it. Alright, now now he like busted through there. Ch uh, check to see if I was there. He's probably gonna start following me now. Hopefully when he sees this dead body he'll stop for a little bit. I'll actually step back for a second and close this door. There we go. Not sure if it helps, but it can't hurt, right? Wrong guy. Although he is the stealth, so I could look through the door, I believe. Alright, so there's actually nothing in here. There's no reason for me to go into these two rooms. Actually, there is. Never mind. What is this? It locates all the computer consoles on the floor, so I don't actually have to go in here to activate that. That's a hacking thing that you can do outside of it. And I've already taken control of all the all the uh, computer consoles. Did I forget what to loot this? Looks like I did, so I better go back in there and do that. He's going to see me, isn't he? No, this door's closed, luckily. Alright. Credits again, it looks like. No ammo clip. Okay. And I'll try to get behind this, just in case this guy runs through the door. And then I'll get ready to leave the level, once all my guys are together. 
here's turn 20, so you guys will see. It might be the level after turn 20 that they all enter. Looks like it is. Alright. So next turn, uh, it's going to go to this area and you'll see a couple people spawn. I won't see them movement, and I won't see their movement until they're after, until they're on camera. Because I have vision of this. This is all fog of war right now. But I should see them spawn. It should tell me that they've spawned, I believe. I actually want this door closed. Because I'm going to wait around to show you guys what happens. And just be next to the exit. I could even be standing on the exit. You notice once you stand on the exit, there's an escape ability that comes up. That's how you exit the level. It took me a while to figure that out, actually. I thought I thought the mission would just end at first when you stood on the exit portal. So when I got there and I ended my turn, I thought it would be over, and it didn't. It didn't end, and I didn't notice there was an exit thing. So I was like, well, maybe I have to do some objective on the on the um, on the map before I can exit. And so I was like walking around, and the SWAT team came and killed me. It was terrible. But then I figured it out. So there you go. So there's a total of four of them that enter the level. And I can't see their actions, but they did take movement this turn. I just can't see them because they're not on... They're in Fog of War. And that's what I believe what happens when they turn red, is that they've moved. This guy's still trying to find me. I'll take a turn and just wait. Because I have so much camera footage, I know where everybody is. They shouldn't get to me in one turn. I'll stand on t on these uh, exit squares just so I can leave within one turn notice. And I'll just kind of watch to see what they do. Alpha testing. This guy seems a little confused. <laughs> Actually, I think he just said man down. I'm not sure if that raises the alarm. I'm not sure if they can radio for backup if somebody's dead and they see them. Not really sure about that. Alright, so I haven't seen these guys yet. So we'll, uh, we'll do another turn. Alright, so there's the SWAT. They're coming in. So these guys are security. These guys are enforcers. They, uh, they have more life sometimes. There's certain, I think there's certain security that only have two life. And I believe they have heavier weaponry. I think he has like an automatic rifle. I can go one more turn. I don't think, let's see where they can get to me from. Yeah, I think they have to enter this room to get to me. And then they can either go south or they can go around this way. So I think I'm good for at least one more turn. So you'll notice you have a little bit of time before um, before like the game will end. Before you die, when you hit alarm level 20. I'm not sure where the other two are. But yeah, this guy's now invisible. He'll get to me in like two turns. So I'm going to just exit here. And then we'll end the video. And then there you go. And then it says demo complete because this is the same build that was used as, used at PAX. So there's pretty much nothing else that you can do after this point. Um, you can continue your game, but I believe it loads the same level. I'll jump into it really quick just to see that that bug is working. Yeah, so I believe this is the same level that I had before. The only difference is that I'll have three guys instead of two. But it's kind of boring to do the same level over and again, over and over again. So I usually just do like you know a new level each game. Yeah, you can see the same things. The laser emitters where another guy will be, and uh, two computer consoles. This will be changed after a couple of builds. Basically, they're probably still working on like the increasing the difficulty per, you know, is the farther you go. That's how it's supposed to be. At least that's what I think. I heard a developer say that. I was watching some interviews and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's Incognita. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more videos of this, you know, give it a like and uh, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.